millions of people died fighting in World War II. In fact, all of the deaths that have occurred in the other wars of the past 70 years added together don't even come close to the number who died in that conflict. Could this just be a sign of the changing times, or is there an underlying reason why the great world powers have refrained from fighting and killing each other? Currently, there are five recognized nuclear weapon states, with several others who've declared themselves to be nuclear weapon states, and some who've aspired to possess nuclear weapons. But what stops these countries from devolving to all-out nuclear warfare? The United States uses deterrence to warn potential enemies that if they were to conduct a nuclear strike on the United States or one of its allies, they would be met with a counter-strike so costly that their objectives could not be met. In short, deterrence maintains peace. The U.S. nuclear triad is comprised of bombers, missiles, and submarines, two of which the Air Force is directly responsible for. Its bomber fleet provides flexible precision strike force capabilities, and its ICBMs are reliable, survivable, and immediately responsive. As important as these weapon systems are to the mission, they're nothing without the airmen that operate them. The bombers need pilots to fly them. The ICBMs need missileers to control them. But what use is a plane that can't actually fly, or a missile that can't physically launch? They both need maintainers to sustain and troubleshoot them, to keep them ready at all times. They need munitions airmen to load them, security forces airmen to guard them, and engineering airmen to improve them. Without communications airmen, the others could not interact and connect. Without medical airmen, everyone's health and wellness would suffer. And without all these airmen working together as a team, the mission would not get done. Every airman in the nuclear enterprise plays a part in this mission from the air traffic controllers that guide the bombers to the chefs that feed the airmen in the missile alert facilities. As long as there are countries that possess or are trying to develop these weapons, no mission will be more important than maintaining nuclear deterrence and safeguarding our nation's nuclear capabilities. And no asset will be more valued than the people who make that happen, airmen.